Okay, today we're going to talk about creating drop shadows through programming using CSS. So why do we want to create drop shadows through programming? Well, the drop shadows just make everything look cool, right? Well, actually using it through code as opposed to a graphic will make your page load a lot quicker and it gives you a little bit more flexibility too so you're not kind of fixed with that drop shadow. You can kind of play around with it, uh, make it look exactly how you want, change it up if you needed to later on. Uh, so you can do all that through just CSS and again as opposed to using graphics. So I want to show you how you can do that here and it's real real easy, just a single line of code here. So you can see I've got my HTML document and in the head I'm going to just kind of open it up a little bit there and I'm going to create a new style tag. And I'm going to go ahead and close it out so I don't forget to. And what I want to do is I want to take some text. I'm going to want to just type in the body here and I'll just say drop shadow. And just to kind of make this a little bit easier here, I'm just going to add an h1 tag to it. Uh, you can see my h1 tag wrapped around it here in the code. Now this could just as easily be a custom class that you create. But uh, again, for the just trying to do this a little bit quicker here. I'm going to use it as an h1 tag. So in my style, all I got to do is type in the h1 tag, open curly bracket, I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And the code for this is simply text shadow. And I have to apply some properties to it. I have to apply which direction it's going to go in and what color that drop shadow is going to be. So first I have to say how many pixels away to the right it's going to be. And I'll just uh, start with, let's say, two pixels. And then I say, how many pixels down? So I say, let's say two pixels down. Again, this could be a different number for each. Uh, and I'll go ahead and just apply just a black drop shadow to it. All right, so I'm going to come back over into my editing window. And it doesn't look like anything was really applied here. Uh, for some of these style sheets, it won't look, uh, I won't actually display here in Dreamweaver. Uh, maybe some of the other editing programs it'll show it in, but I know Dreamweaver it does not. So I'm going to save my document. I'm just going to call it Drop Shadow, save it to the desktop, and I'm going to open it up in Safari. And there you go. All right, this is one of the reasons I'm not like a huge fan of using drop shadows uh, in my code. You can see where it's kind of hard to read here. It's, it's a black hard edge drop shadow directly below the text. So there's some things that we can do to set this off. We can make some changes to it. I could go in and simply change this to a, another color. Here's a, this is actually a red color. And I'll save this and we can preview it over here. All right, so now it's a little bit more readable. It's still not the greatest looking thing in the world, but um, I could also come in and change the distance away. Make it a little bit bigger distance there. And I'll save that and I'll come back and I'll refresh. All right, so now I'm getting a lot bigger of a uh, drop shadow going on here. Um, again, maybe not something I would use, but yeah, it still has some good applications to it. So one other thing I can do is after my to the right and down uh, pixel distance here, I can add one more property in here, and that's going to be my blur property. Because right now you can see it looks exactly like the text, it's just as hard edged as the actual text is. Uh, if I came in and gave it maybe a five pixel blur here, I'm going to save that and come back to my document. If I hit refresh, you can see it starts to kind of blur there. Now it looks a little bit more natural. Maybe now I could use that black again. Let's say, let's take the blur up a little bit. I'm going to bring that back in to maybe about a three pixel distance. And I'll save that. There we go. So that's got kind of a cool effect to it. Um, you could apply this as a rollover effect, which might be kind of cool. Whereas you roll over the text, uh, you get the drop shadow effect. Uh, so how would you do something like that? Uh, what you would do is simply say H1 hover. So I would say anytime you hover over it, then show the drop shadow but otherwise it's not going to show anything. So I'll save that, come back, refresh my document, and you can see just as I hover over it, I get the drop shadow. When I move away, it goes away. So that's the typical way that the drop shadow is going to work. It's going to go to the right and down a certain amount of pixels, but maybe I want it to go up for some reason. I'm going to take off that hover state just so we can see how it works here. And I'm going to say a negative three negative three. That's going to bring it up and to the left as opposed to to the right and down. So I'm going to save that document, hit refresh, and you can see the drop shadow actually kind of went up and to the left now as opposed to, let's see if I take that blur off of there, maybe it'll be a little bit easier to see. Yeah. All right. So you can see the different ways that you can apply a drop shadow using 
text shadow in your style sheets. So now there is one other type of drop shadow, and again, it's not really called drop shadow in CSS. If it's for text, it's called text shadow. Uh, if it's for a graphic or a, like a div box, it's called box shadow. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to simply apply just a uh, div tag, whoops, div And like I said, I'm going to apply what's called box shadow this time. And I could apply the same properties to it as I did with my text shadow here. Again, just called something different if it's for a graphic. And I'll say, let's say four pixels, four pixels. Let's give it a little bit of a blur. And I'll say, let's go ahead and say a four pixel blur too. Keep it nice and consistent. All right, so I want to create just a box here. I'll just say a uh, width of 200 pixels. And I'll give it a height of 200 pixels as well. And let's go ahead and give it a background color. Background of, uh, let's stick with black. That's cool. All right, so now I've got my text on here. Uh, actually, I'm just going to swap that out. Let's go ahead and change that to just a div tag. I'm going to close that div tag. So again, it's applying it to anything that is a div tag up here. You probably want to make it something more specific. Uh, but again, this is just to kind of demonstrate how to work it here. And I, if I look in my design area, you can see that I've got the black square, but no drop shadow yet. But if I save it, come back to my browser and hit refresh, you can see I've got that nice drop shadow going below there. Let's go ahead and change the color a little bit. Change it to just a gray. Hit refresh. All right, that lightened it up a little bit here. It's still kind of a dark gray, so let's change it to a lighter gray. And there you have it. So you can see there's a couple different ways that you can apply drop shadows. Uh, depending on whether it's going to be text or a graphic, you're going to want to choose the correct type of class for your drop shadow, either a text shadow or box shadow. Uh, but you have a lot of freedom as far as how you position the drop shadow on the page, the distance, the location, the blur, and the color. Uh, all very easy things to do by using just one line of code in CSS. Thank you.